Hey everybody, happy Saturday. It's tea time with the diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, because we're going to get into it. This tea time is dedicated to Wendy Williams. Listen guys, where's Wendy? Where is Wendy? Wendy. The last spotting of Wendy was in February of 2023. We are coming towards the end of 2023 and no one has seen Wendy Williams in a long time. But you know what I'm really here to dedicate this tea time to also is to Charlemagne the God. Now listen, Charlemagne at one point, him and Wendy worked very closely together. And then all of a sudden he was fired, fired from um, Bob at that time, Wendy Williams' husband, Kevin Hunter, for a misunderstanding. But they caught Charlemagne the God outside of an award show, and they asked him about Wendy Williams. And let me tell you what Charlemagne said. And this, people, is a true friend. Unlike that brother Bilal that has been around uh, Will Smith for 40 plus years and wants to go around telling all the secrets in the business... Charlemagne the God said, listen, I haven't spoken to Wendy Williams in years. He said, years. But he said, this is what I pray. I pray that she's emotionally, physically, and mentally well. He said, I never, never want to see anybody crash and burn. That's a friend, people. And that's the type of people you need in your life. The type that no matter what happens between y'all two, they will never go around speaking ill will or bad about you. Now, listen, guys, we're going to get more into this story right after this. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead, let's share your screen and get right into this story. Come on, Charlemagne, a true friend, right? So prayers for Wendy. Wendy Williams' ex-radio partner, Charlemagne of God, prays she's in good health despite not speaking to her for years. You want to see her get back on her feet. And we all do. And when we say get back, at least for me, when I say get back on her feet, I don't necessarily mean I, I'm expecting Wendy Williams to come back and have, you know, something like her Wendy Williams show or maybe get back on the radio, but just on her feet, being the Wendy that we knew. Because listen, 59, 59 is young for the state that we saw Wendy Williams in earlier this year. I'm 53, so 59 is young for her to be in that particular state. So Wendy Williams' ex-radio partner, Charlemagne the God, has spoken exclusively to the U.S. Sun about praying that the star is in good health after not being seen in public for months. Wendy, 59, was last publicly seen in New York City in February, where she was seen looking frail due to her ongoing health concerns. I will also add this. I'm actually really glad that maybe Wendy is now under the care of her son. I don't know this for a fact, y'all, but this is my thought. Um, that is under the care of her son and maybe people that really care about her. That is keeping her out of the public eye. From everything I know about following Wendy Williams for years, she would have never, I think she would have actually been mortified Um to have herself out there the way that she was out there the last couple of months we seen her before she kind of disappeared out of sight. I don't think Wendy Williams would have been happy about that, right? So Charlemagne and God spoke exclusively to the U.S. Sun at the fifth annual 
Pal Her Awards in New York City on November the 16th. Okay. Um, that was one of the most recent photos of Wendy, like a while back. Okay. And every time she came out, she was in these um little tiny shorts. Now, don't get let's let's be clear, Wendy loves her little poom poom shorts, but some of the ways we were seeing her in them, you know, before February, February and before um, was not just a pretty picture. When asked for an update um, from her former radio partner, Shauna May, he told the U.S. Sun that he hasn't spoken to her in years. The Breakfast Club host shared, I just pray that she's in good health mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. Come on, Shauna May. That's how you do it. It's because you're not speaking to somebody or y'all broke up or, you know, you can still not wish ill will on them and not speak um, badly about them. OK, he said, I care about that more than I care about anything media related. He added, even if we don't have a relationship, you want to see people always going out with the plane landing with the wheels coming out. Come on, Charlemagne. You don't want to see people crash. At least I don't. Charlemagne, 45, um, worked with Wendy on her radio show, The Wendy Williams Experience, beginning in 2006. And what he said there, too, that's my um, model, too. I don't want to see people crash. <laughs> like, what do I care? So we're no longer friends. We're no longer together. Whatever you told me will always stay with me. I wish you well. I'm not behind the scene wishing for your downfall. He was um, then fired in 2008 and claimed it was because Wendy's ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, let him go because of a business deal go going wrong. When questioned if he would want to interview her down the road, he told the U.S. son, I never thought about that. I'm not even thinking about stuff like that. You want to see a person like that? You know, you heard that she was having some type of health issues and you want to see her get back on her feet. That's all I care about. So he's not thinking about the next click and view, not thinking about how I can prop Wendy up and have a, a say a couple words on the breakfast cup and everybody be like, wow, they're friends again. He got her back on whatever. He said, I just wish her well. Praising the lady, Charlemagne, whose real name is Leonard. Um, McKelvey spoke exclusively with the U.S. Sun at Support Your Girlfriend's Fifth Annual Pal Her Awards that took place in New York City on November the 16th. He received the inaugural um, Power Ham Award alongside Black China, who was also being honored that night for her career on the radio, for his career on the radio. The recently interviewed Jada Pickett Smith about her memoir and her recent bombshell about separating from her husband, Will Smith. He said, gratitude is always my attitude. I don't do things for recognition or awards. I just put my head down and do the work. Come on, Charlemagne. So whenever you are noticed and recognized by people, it's always a beautiful thing, especially for award to come from this organization led by women and the women of my life. I got four daughters. I didn't know he had four daughters. A beautiful wife, Jessica, and was raised by a strong woman. No more, um, no more show. Although he has ups and downs with Wendy throughout the years, Charlemagne had nothing but positive words for her. Wendy's long-running um, TV show, The Wendy Williams Show, aired its final episode on June 17, 2022. The host was there for the uh, the host was not there for the um the finale since prior to the finale, she took an indefinite leave of absence due to health issues, which include her battle um, with severe alcoholism. Wendy expressed her disdain to the New York Post about not being asked by the production company, Denmark Mercury, to be a part of the finale. Denmark Mercury didn't ask me to do that, so I didn't. I sat in my apartment and I watched it, and I was like, eek, she said at the time. Charlemagne also commented on her as to the Delhi Pop. I just hate the fact that she, I don't want to say I'm um, going out this way because we don't know if it's the end. But I would hope that it's not the ending. I hope that she gets healthy and gets to bounce back and bow out the way she wants to. Um, I, that's what I think I hope for her too. You know, um, and listen, and I know Cosby has had problems since, you know, this, since the Cosby show. But he, when he was asked about the Cosby show, when it was in his height, he said he wanted to end it before they got pushed out. So he wanted to end it on a high note. And I know that Wendy, um, before, 
you know, unfortunately she had to take this extended leave of absence. She always said she wanted to end her show on a high note, not kind of be like pushed out, sort of like this had to happen because of her illness. Not just from radio, but to make the transition to TV and do 13 seasons of a daytime talk show as a black woman, that's big, he added. That's actually huge. Chevy Shepard has since taken over the Wendy Williams show, Time Son, and is currently airing new episodes for season two. So where's Wendy? Wendy, current whereabouts are unknown. In May, the U.S. Sun exclusively reported that the TV personality was hospitalized and then checked into a medical facility. The following month, Wendy's son, Kevin Hunter Jr., gave his first interview in which he expressed his fears for his unwell mother. The 23-year-old slammed her inner circle and accused him of taking advantage of her wealth and fame. Kevin told the U.S. Sun, what's um, been made more important by the people around her is that while her health may not be great, she needs to keep on earning income. And in my opinion, that should not be a priority at all. And whoever has been hired, they are taking advantage of someone who needs to get better. And I did agree with him at that time. I mean, people went back and forth, whether he was being, you know, genuine or not as her son. But whether he was or not, we could never really say for sure because we are not him. But what I did like that, what he said, which I thought rang very true, is the fact that his mother did not need to be being paraded around the streets and she clearly wasn't well. Kevin also said his mother's mental and physical health has been in jeopardy since being placed under guardianship last year. He continued, I know there are all sorts of things happening that I, um, that I know in her right mind she would never agree to. And listen, from just watching Wendy Williams from her, and listening to Wendy Williams from her radio days up until the point where she got her talk show, there are some things I would say just getting to know her personality through the radio and through TV that in her right mind, she would never agree to, never agree to, right? As hard as it is, is seeing her being taken advantage of, and this is her son speaking, I know that if I'm making sure she as a person is okay, that is the important thing. Now, look at his amazing picture. And it's a shame all this stuff Wendy Williams did to herself. Um probably because she just thought she wasn't good enough, wasn't pretty enough, and all of the above with the low self-esteem. The surgeries, I think surgeries, some people, you know, if they don't get too crazy, it goes okay for them, the surgeries. And some people, it, it ends up destroying their natural beauty. And a lot of people said a lot of things about Wendy Williams and her, and her beauty, but I think this picture, outside of the boobs, because she got her boobs done early on, um, I think this picture right here is a little bit closer to her natural state. And I think it's beautiful. Look at her and Charlemagne in the early stages, all innocent, right? Yeah, crazy how life, you know, takes its twists and turns, okay? So this was Wendy and Charlemagne um, were radio partners from 2006 to 2008. Charlemagne the God, actually, when she first got her talk show, he was on there for a split second. Then he disappeared. Must have been when Kevin Hunter fired him. And then at that point, um, Wendy Williams just, because many people was asking her, where's Charlemagne? Where's Charlemagne? Well, she got her talk show. And she just kind of just never said a word about where he actually was, right? So Wendy's um, talk show aired its um, finale in June 2022 without the pops, um, without the star appearing on it. Um, Wendy's current whereabouts are unknown after she um, was seen going to dinner in New York City, pictured here in February, okay? Um, yeah, that was messy, but that was her going to dinner back in February. We haven't seen her since. Listen, I'll say this. One, of course, I pray that Wendy Williams, you know, is well and getting better and that the right people are currently now around her, which will hopefully keep her out of the spotlight not looking her best self. Um, in terms of Charlemagne the God, yeah, Charlemagne the God, he has a messy and somewhat sketchy um, past himself. But who in this world live and they're just unscathed from some type of scandal, whether it's on the very low end or it goes to an extreme end like Sean Diddy Combs, right? But what I commend him for here is, is that you had a friend, Y'all stopped speaking and we're no longer friends. 
but you're not wishing harm and hate and you're not talking bad about her. I like that a lot because as we see with the um, Will Smith and brother Bilal, a whole hot mess. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And you know what? Maybe the question is this. How do you feel about Charlemagne being a good friend in the sense that we broke up? We didn't, we're not speaking anymore. We haven't spoken in years, but I still wish her well. Let's talk about that. Okay, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next video.